Nice looking Honda. Holy shit. What's your name? Matt. Matt, I'm Peter. How's it going? Polaris Power. Oh, yeah. Why the Polarises are in winching position? Is there a Kawasaki or Yamaha that needs to be pulled out? I'm extremely lucky because I ride with a great group of individuals. We call ourselves the Trail Rangers. Uh, they're a lot of fun to be with. They're safe riders. We look out for one another. Uh, they're talented in their mechanic skills. And at the end of the day, no matter what happens on the ride, we go home with a smile on our face. And this ride turned out to be not so much riding, but winching, winching each other uh, out of snow and, and mud. So we agreed that uh, because of the conditions, we probably weren't going to be in the water holes on the mud. Uh, but some of us, like the godfather of mud, just can't resist it. And he wanted to test out his new tires on his Suzuki in uh, one of the water holes slash mud holes. And he was in the hole for a while, and we thought he was going to get out of it and didn't realize that he needed to be pulled out. The standout Trail Ranger superhero for today was Jordan on his Polaris 450 HO Blue and he has new tires and rims on his machine and this young man is just so fast uh, in mentally Mike. and physically. Um, I didn't realize Mikey was in trouble and Jordan jumped into action and hooked up uh, a winch onto Mikey's rack and pulls him out of trouble. So once I realize Mikey is just trying to keep his ATV running and get in the position to hook my witch up to his machine, Jordan's already there and uh, is trying to hook up his winch cable to Mike's machine and they couldn't do it off the pole bar and Mike told him to hook it up to his metal rack and amazingly this rack, the steel rack, held and was able to pull his machine out. Much as I love Polaris, I would never hook a winch cable up to my rack. It would rip it off to the machine. Way to go, Suzuki and Jordan. You got him by yourself? Usually we train our ATVs together. So the winching machine, when it starts winching, won't be pulled into the mud uh, where the machine is trying to pull out. So we have the weight of two ATVs pulling one ATV out. And this is pretty impressive. Uh, Jordan, with his new tires and rims, didn't need an acre ATV and was able to pull Mikey out of a deep mud hole on its own with, uh, without training the machines together. Pretty cool. I don't like to ride in the deep water holes or mud, but that doesn't mean I don't like watching other people do it. And Jeff's 570 really does well in the mud, and he, he's a mud lover. Um, so we continue on the ride. The first winch job is out of the way, 
and we're on uh, what we think is going to be a nice afternoon ride. We had a good ride in the morning, and soon enough, things start to go bad. Mike, you want me to go first? So we're riding in an area that's at the southeast end of a very large field I think it's and of too course deep, the yeah. wind blows across the field and deposits the snow at this section of the woods. We're going to try to go in on the field and come around the front of him and get him to Yeah. <laughs> So I pull around in the field and get in position to pull Mikey Godfather of Mud forward out of the deep snow and lo and behold, you can guess what happens, my new machine gets stuck. So the big Sportsman 1000 brand new 2019 is stuck in the snow and who's going to save the day? You guessed it, Jordan in his HO450 Polaris with a good winch. And What's he that? just moves into position so fast to get me out of trouble. So we'll take a quick look into my rear storage area. Where in the storage area I have a, a pull strap, a first aid kit, an air compressor, a tire patch kit, a Leatherman tool, my registration and insurance card. Also in the rear storage compartment is the tools that came with the machine. Now Polaris also has double this amount of storage under the front rack where sometimes I carry another strap, my food, water, camera equipment, and my jump starter. Essential in your towing insert. I highly recommend that you have a two inch ball that you can easily and quickly hook up your tow strap to and then hook your uh, the winching hook onto your tow strap. The tow strap is also a tree protector when you're by yourself or winching yourself out, you can wrap Thank that you. around the tree so it doesn't hurt the tree and um, you can hook your winch up to the toe strap. I'll take it. I'll hump it. Go ahead. Boy, isn't it something? It looks great right here. Having my toe strap easily accessible on my ATV and my two inch ball in my towing insert, and Jordan's quick reaction made this winching job go very fast, and we were ready to get back and try to help Mikey get out of the snow. Man, what I love about this sport is that fellow riders who you don't even know are willing to lend a hand to help you. And uh, this person who appeared to be riding with his wife and his daughter in a four-seater Pioneer 700, Honda Pioneer 700, agreed to uh, help pull Mikey out. And we thought this would be the fix. Nice looking Honda. Holy shit. Nice fucking Honda. Holy shit. Nice fucking Honda. Holy shit. We can hook it right to your uh, hitch there. Yeah. If you want. I got it. Oh, that's oh, right. 
Look at your boy's got it. He's got to take pictures. <laughs> Remember the YouTube channel, Marauder Michelli. All right. Marauder Michelli, you'll be on. Not, There's a lot of goofy shit out. Not often a Honda pulls us out. What's your name? Let me winch out a little bit. Yeah, Jason. yeah, I'd winch out. Jason, that's the thing to do. No matter what your experience level, watch this video and you'll learn from our successes and our failures. And we will succeed in this and pulling everyone out of this uh, snow drift. Uh, the snow underneath and behind Mikey's machine is perfect snowman making snow. It, uh, when you compress it, almost gets like rock. You'll see that a little later. Um, you would have thought this well-engineered Honda with its Zilla tires and good operator would have pulled Mikey's machine out easily, and it did not. Nah, we'll get her. I just don't want to rip that out of his hand. You can't even hear that idle. You can't. I can't even hear it idling. Okay, I'm glad he stopped using the tree as his anchor off his front bumper because it was starting to bend it, and I've seen that happen before. Okay, go ahead. So in Tug Hill in the Adirondacks okay. three years ago, I watched someone in a Razor S900 shred their front tire by letting their winch cable wrap around the tire. It actually slid a portion of the tire and knocked it off the bead of the rim and it turned into a disaster so that's why I stopped stopped the operator from running over his winch cable with his tire it started to get tangled we can do two in a V formation there you go there we go keep going yeah That'll work. I think he's out. You're good. I'll unhook and help you spool in. Come on, come up there and help you out. Jordan was like Flash today. He was everywhere helping everyone out. Pretty amazing young man. He's a good young man. I'm commenting that Jordan's a good young man, and Jeff is commenting we're lucky to have the Pioneer pull up, and we were probably both right. Yes. We're lucky he pulled up. <laughs> You're almost yeah. there. Yeah. Thank you again, man. Absolutely. I'm going to get out of the way and then... Hold on, you should, you should, you should make it. Okay, hindsight's 2020. None of us are surprised he didn't make it. Okay. Uh, we should have known better and told him not to go through it. But here we're in for another winching okay, we'll save. Get ready. We can do two in a V formation. You don't think you can go backwards? 
Do you have that uh, knock that multiplier? Yeah, you have a snatch block? That will double his, huh? Do you want to he's got a snatch block. Why would you? What about two ATVs pulling backwards? Backwards would be easier. Backwards would be a hell of a lot easier. Somebody would have to pull him with one of our winches. Why don't we do two ATVs? Let's try two ATVs. Dude, like I was. Yeah, it's right up on the top of the Woo! I mean, if it gets moving, I get in reverse. Are you okay? I'm in the woods and someone's stuck. What did you want? Yes. You what? Yeah. I don't know. You can call and ask them. Look it up, look it up and call them. Tell me your name. Hi. Right. So, what are we doing? We're gonna snatch block you because you got the strongest winch. I, I think we need two winches on that. Yeah, we're gonna get three. I'm gonna get on it, you and him. And Jeff. I, I wouldn't Jeff's do the snatch. I wouldn't do the snatch block. Okay. If we have two or three ATVs pulling, I wouldn't do the snatch block. Okay. They're thinking of having two winches to it. And then getting one four wheel behind it with a strap on the balls and pulling it. Yeah, because that snatch block doubles what's being pulled on my machine on that front end. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's more or less for pulling yourself out. Yeah, right, right. Gotcha. So I would say if we can get two or three lined up with someone as an anchor, that's it. Okay. Put that orange, the purple strap on him. And then we'll put our hooks on that. I know what you're now. Dave and I have done this V formation. So I believe it was Jeff's idea. We're going to use the tree as the ATV anchor. So no doubt our ATVs, two of them, once we started winching, would start pulling themselves toward the Honda Pioneer. So I have my two inch ball in my towing insert on my ATV. Mikey has the same thing or hook in his towing insert. Probably both machines can tow 1,000 to 1,500 pounds. So that's a good anchor point for our ATVs. Okay, in this freeze frame, you can see the strap going from my machine behind the tree to Mikey's machine, and that's our anchor. And the two ATVs in V formation pulling on the Honda Pioneer is working. We're pulling this, this bigger machine out of the snow. For some reason, Mikey's Harbor Freight winch draws down his battery which may be weak and uh, we have to stop and try to get Mikey's machine jump started. And then to our surprise unfortunately a Polaris Scrambler pulls in with a strong winch on it to help us save the day. Okay try it. Yeah. So the group of Polaris riders are prepared they have a pair of jumper cables and they jump start Mikey's machine and we move one of their machines in its place. I'm taking that winch off. Harbor Freight winch. You... So this is Matt on his 850 Polaris Scrambler. Man, the blue is just awesome. And uh, Matt's here to help out. Pretty cool young man and uh, 
he helps us save this Honda Pioneer. Hey Jeff, can we put your winch on it too? I'm right here. We'll hook this to your ball. Oh. We can throw my winch on it. I would put three, if we can put oh, three on, I would. Right here, just like he was. We're gonna hook this to your ball and throw your winch cable on it. I'd put it on. Alright. Watch your back. Uh, we were doing it this way. We're gonna throw mine on as well. We'll do it this way because you can't slide forward. Look what's on the back of Matt's ATV. What's your name? Matt. Matt, I'm Peter. How's it going? Polaris Power. Oh, yeah. Polaris. You got that all on video, right, Peter? I think so. Remember, Marauder Michelli. There you go. What's your hey, name what's again? Up? Matt. So Matt, look at my I channel, like Marauder Michelli. Back here, okay. right? What's that? Bumping Polaris Power. Polaris. Yeah, Polaris. Yeah. Polaris. yeah. <laughs> Guys, why the Polarises are in winching position? Is there a Kawasaki or Yamaha that needs to be pulled out? Well, I'll just back up and you can just go and blow through that. <laughs> yeah. Don't go through there again. And then, and then it'll just pop it up. Right. <laughs> pop it all around. Then I'll hook out to you and drag you back again. <laughs> Good? One more little one. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss a ride. Always wear a helmet when riding motorsports. Get outside and ride the great outdoors on a motorsport machine, and I hope to see you on the trail. Thank you, and God bless.